Fun? <laughs> Give me a kiss on the lips. Mm, little baby. Tiny little baby. Oh. Ah, good. Hello, welcome to the Dignity Newsletter. We're just hanging out with some goats. This one's got an itchy horn. Um, oh, it's a big boob there. <laughs> just like, just the one. Anyway, um, <coughs> what's been going on in Dignity? Quite a few things, and then also some things not going on as well, as much as we'd like. So we're, we're here at our Planet Before Profit co-working retreat uh, with six of us. Um, it's and a small, cosy one. Three goats. And three goats. Um, they're often here, I think. Um, and we have been innovating some ideas around how to get our crowdfunding campaign to um, generate more activity. Um, just trying to get more people to hire gigs on there, I think has been quite a sort of ongoing theme. Uh, a lot of generous people offering their local skills, um, but really trying to work out how can we get more people hiring those skills. Um, but yeah, George is amazing. He's coding away, building our full-on shiny marketplace that will be coming out soon. Uh, but we do need to work out a way to raise a bit more money around that. Yeah, so we're, we're at about a £1,000. Um, and... <laughs> Sorry, that goat is so distracting. Looking up, oh, <laughs> completely back to normal again. Oh no. Ah uh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just flicked to goats. Um, yeah, we're at about a thousand pounds, which is fantastic, and we've had loads of really generous donations. Um, but yeah, we need about another three thousand pounds, don't we? Um, and so. On this retreat, we've been uh, thinking a little bit about how we can innovate our, our crowdfunder or, or our approach. Um, and one quite clear idea that's come out of um, our sort of brainstorm together um, was creating a bit of a uh, is creating a bit of a feast uh, with Real Junk Food Project. So we're going to approach them about that um, ticketed kind of event. Getting a bit loud, isn't it? Should we pause until that's over? I can try. Goats are great. Um, so now the plane's gone over, we'll continue. We were just celebrating how arms are great at scratching any part of your body, much better than hooves and most other species of leg. Yeah, anyway, so yeah, we're thinking about creating a uh, sort of ticketed uh, feast, seeing as we've got Real Junk Food um, as our charity partner. They have access to lots of amazing surplus food and they might be up for helping us um, yeah, fundraise this 3,000 quid that we need. It's coming towards us. Anything? Any ideas your end? Yeah, do you have any ideas about our crowdfunder? Um, the eating answer is shoes. in your shoes. Is it? Look inside your soul. Whoa, good one. Hi. Maybe just trod on some shit. Maybe. Um, yeah, so that, I mean, there's loads of other stuff we could talk about. Um, I think we'll rejig the crowdfunder a bit. We're talking about how to reach out to possibly some corporates and look for some direct kind of sponsorship there. Um, there's an exciting opportunity um, around possibly building a poster which might go on buses and possibly maybe that could be uh, a sort of marketing device for Dignity. But yeah, a few things up in the air that we're exploring um, that were exciting. But yeah. Probably I think the most exciting thing is that Dignity Platform, our very own version website, is very nearly ready to present to the world, um, mm. and um, that will be the first launch of something that we're, yeah, like genuinely sort of our website, not something that we've hacked together, and something yeah. that we'll be able to continue sort of evolving to be, to be the dream. Yeah, that's really fun. Yeah, um, it's starting to rain now, so we should probably. Go inside. Thanks, guys. Oh, so even they're going inside. Bye, goats. You come in your house. Ah, see if they let us in. Sorry, mate. Let's get the kettle on. Coming in. Coming inside. <laughs> Hi. I think we should always feature a different type of animal in each of our newsletters. Got some tea. I think more people will watch. Why do you love me so much? Yeah. Look at this beard. I know, I haven't shaved for about a week. 
it's just since that llama spat its like bile in my face, I'm just always expecting animals near my head to just suddenly out of nowhere just gob on me. Yeah. And on that note, <laughs> thanks for watching.